All right, you guys in the comments have spoken. We're putting some parts in this thing. See what we got. Okay, before we get started, I decided the factory crank is where I'm going to draw the line. They're pretty rugged, as we've seen, so I'm going to leave the factory crank and go rod and piston. Got to remember, some of this is because it's what was available for my suppliers I use. So we got the Eagle rods here, got some DSS pistons. I'm going to do a main bolt kit. Uh, these are just some ARP bolts that measured generically. I think they're about three inch. They're going to work for protruding into the head and getting into the deck properly. This is the dual sink distributor I need to make this thing run. Got some high performance coated main bearings, Durban cam bearings, some nice rod bearings to go in those Eagle rods. Nice timing set. Nice high volume oil, oil pump. I chose a comp cam, and I'll have to get into that in more detail. The rocker ratio on factory Ford stuff versus what's on this is going to make this cam a little different. So I'll explain why I chose that. Here's the LT high ram intake. I'm going to absolutely massacre, chop in half, and slide around and re-weld to make it all fit right. And I'm thinking, since my suburban motor is currently blown up, I might steal the intercooler from my other setup and then put her in here. So uh, over here, got some Lunati lifters that drop in. They're a retrofit roller. They should have the link bars on them. Here's a rail for that intake gasket kit. So yeah, that's the rundown. Got to get this thing blasted apart, start the machining process, and start putting this thing together. And then next will be fabricating the intake so you guys want it here it is some good parts okay i couldn't resist let's see what they look like must be some rings and things clips come on oh yeah oh baby what do we have here pretty basic Flat top. She chonky too. That's gonna need a rebalance. It is a good sign when the pin that comes with your piston fits. It's a little snuggly though. We better uh, get that cleared up. Oh man. X marks the spot. There it is. There is the just a bit better than stock parts I got. So hopefully it's got what it takes to stay alive for more than the dino session. Let's see, we got in this Lunati packaging here. We got some, ooh, right there. Oh yeah. Nothing but the best right there. It's not the best stuff I've ever used, but guess what? I bet it will be just fine. Seeing how we're using a factory crank and block, this stuff should more than serve it well. I also can't forget, I still need to lay these gaskets over the heads and see what lines up and what doesn't, and weld up any coolant passages that hang over, so I should probably cover that. Yeah, I mean, these are those coolant holes there, and I mean, there's only so many places you can put coolant passages next to a head bolt, so it kind of makes sense. Get this lined up. Coolant will definitely flow through this weirdness enough to work, I bet. So, as of right now, things are looking pretty fantastic. You know what? I just found it. Right there. Okay, as I was talking out loud, I saw it right here. This is the edge of the engine 
this is coolant. This will be a gigantic leak both ends. So I'm not going to escape this one without welding right here, right here. So get those lined up again ish. Yep, there you are, your little stinkers right there. So I'll have to do some welding before we deck these things off. Not terrible. It's gonna start getting good here as this thing starts coming together. So if you wanna follow along, hit that subscribe button and you'll get notifications on when I put something out and how this thing's coming. See ya.